I'll be straight honest to you, I don't even know how to begin to explain this guitar. It is simply one of the best guitar I've ever played in my life. Of course, for me, this guitar is not just a musical instrument, but it's more about piece of history. This is one of the most important guitar in the development of classical guitar. This particular guitar is from 1926 which means it is 98 years old. It has spruce top, beautiful spruce top, unbelievable, with a mother of pearl rosette. Simple design, but effective and catchy. A bit like shark kit, the design. And one piece Madagascar rosewood back. And Indian rosewood sides. Yes, you hear me correct. It has different woods on the back and on the sides. One piece Madagascar on the back and Indian rosewood on the sides. The condition of this guitar is breathtaking. Amazing. I can tell you that, yes, being a 98 years old guitar, it has some marks here and there, nail marks, playing wear, even the small part here, the French police worn out a bit. But the top, it has only one very small hairline crack here next to the fretboard. Otherwise, it is very clean. You know, no crack on the lower boat, which is the main part of the, of the soundboard. Oh, by the way, it is in original condition. Even the tuning machines, the Landsdorfer tuning machines, they are original and they are still turning smoothly. Fun facts about this guitar is it was built in 1926, the same year as one of Angel Romero's Hermann Hauser, which I believe he really loved. As you might know, Hermann Hauser I was already an accomplished instrument maker. He built Viennese style instruments before his meeting with Miguel Jobet and Andres Segovia. Actually, it was Miguel Jobet who encouraged Hermann Hauser I to build guitars in the Spanish traditional way. And of course, in 1924, he met Segovia for the first time. He attended Segovia concert in Germany. Segovia brought him his 1912 Manuel Ramirez guitar which was built by Santos Hernandez. That's why you can tell the headstock design of this guitar. It's very similar or let's say influenced by the Manuel Ramirez instruments. Since 1924, he put aside his Viennese style instrument making and he started to concentrate on building uh, Spanish guitars. He built quite a few guitars over the years for Andres Segovia. In 1929, it was the first time that Andres Segovia played one of Hermann Hauser the first instrument on the concert. Let's take a listen how it sounds. Guys, this guitar is loud. It is very loud. I know, I've heard, I've read everywhere that people say Hermann Hauser guitar is not that loud. But this guitar is loud. I'm not talking about as a traditional guitar. No, in general, this guitar is loud. And being 98 years old, I mean, guys, unbelievable. This instrument is unbelievable. One more thing, this guitar has been well preserved and well taken care of. That's the most important thing. I don't see this guitar slowing down despite its age. 
I think this guitar will just keep going as long as it is well taken care of. I will play you the first string to the sixth string and you will hear the trebles. They are magical. They are ringing like a bell. The clarity is amazing. It has this distinct ring with the very good clarity, good sustain, wonderful overtones, very artistic overtones. It's just beautiful. On the second string, the tone color is getting a bit darker. On the third string, it's more melancholic. string is also very singing. Yeah guys, after you play the note, you hear the overtone. It's amazing. the airy, punchy, and clear basses as well. So you can tell how I, how, how can I explain, but I will put it like this. From the first string to the sixth string, there are some gradation on the tonal colors, which I think beautiful. Each layer is giving its own character. And at the end, they are blending beautifully to each other. I got chill when I played this guitar. Honestly, it is so beautiful, it is so musical, it is very artistic. The guitar touches you. It has its own colors and characters that I don't know. Really guys, this is the kind of instrument that really touches people through its sounds, through the tonal quality, through the colors, everything. <laughs>